गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे टॉपिक इज प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मल्टीप्लीकेशन एंड डिविजन ऑफ इंटीजर्स आफ्टर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो द लर्नर विल बी एबल टू नो अबाउट क्लोजर प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ इंटीजर्स कॉम्पिटेटिव प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ इंटीजर्स एसोसिएटिव प्रॉपर्टी प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ जीरो प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ वन प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ माइनस वन एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिव प्रॉपर्टी क्लोजर प्रॉपर्टी मल्टीप्लीकेशन इफ ए एंड बी आर टू इंटीजर्स देन ए मल्टीप्लाई बी विल ऑल्सो बी एन इंटीजर्स लेट्स टेक एन एग्जाम्पल हियर थ्री एंड माइनस फोर बोथ आर इंटीजर्स वेन वी मल्टीप्लाई वी विल गेट माइनस ट्वेल्व दैट इज ऑल्सो एन इंटीजर दिस इज कॉल्ड Closure property of multiplication of integers. Now division. If x and y are integers, then x divided by y may or may not be an integer. For example, when twelve divided with three, we will get four. Here, four is an integer. Let's take another example. Here, one divided by two, the answer will come out to be one upon two, or in decimal you can say zero point five. Here, one by two is not an integer. So, closure property does not hold good for division of integers. Commutative property. Multiplication. If a and b Are two integers, then a multiply b is equal to b multiply a. That is, on changing the order of integers, we get the same result. Let's take an example. For example, when minus four multiply with two, we will get minus eight. And when we change the order, when two multiply with minus four. we will get minus 8 here when we change the order of integer the both answers are same that is minus 8 thus commutative property holds good for the multiplication of integers division if x and y are two integers then x divided by y Is not equal to y divided by x. Let's take an example. Here, four divided with two, we will get two. But two divided by four, we will get two upon four. Or when cancelling, you will get one upon two. And here, one upon two is not an integer. so we conclude that here we see that when the order of integers is changed the result does not remain the same because 1 by 2 is not an integer hence integer do not hold commutative property of division associative property multiplication If a, b, and c are three integers, then a multiply inside the bracket b multiply c is equal to inside the bracket a multiply b multiply c. Let's take an example. Now. Three multiply four multiply five is equal to three multiply four multiply five. Here in LHS, three multiply four is in bracket, and in RHS, four multiply five is in bracket. Let's solve it. When we multiply three multiply four, we will get twelve. And on RHS, when we multiply four and five, we will get twenty. And on left hand side, twelve multiply five is sixty. 
and on right hand side 3 multiply 20 is 60 both are same so we conclude that thus associative property holds good for the multiplication of integers now division if x y and z are three integers then x divided by y divided by z is not equal to x divided by y divided by z here on left hand side x and y are in bracket and on right hand side y and z are in bracket now let's take an example here 24 divided with 4 divided minus 2 is not equal to 24 divide 4 divide minus 2 now we will solve it first 24 when divide with 4 we will get 6 here when we divide we will get 6 and on right hand side when 4 is divided with minus 2 we will get minus 2 now when 6 divided with minus 2 we will get minus 3 and when 24 is divided by minus 2 we will get minus 12 now in both cases left hand side and right hand side are not same they are not equal so we conclude that associative property does not hold good for the division of integers property of zero multiplication the product of any integer and zero gives the result as zero if a is an integer then a multiply zero is equal to zero multiply a is equal to zero let's take an example when minus six multiply zero is equal to zero multiply minus six is equal to zero so in division we will see when zero is divided by any integer the result is always zero if x is an integer then zero divided by x is equal to zero for example when 0 is divided with minus 7, we will get 0. Always remember, division of integer by 0 is not defined. Now, we will see how this will work. Take example, when 7 divided by 0, the answer is not defined. Here, 7 is an integer. When we divide an integer with 0, then answer is not defined. Property of 1. Multiplication. The product of any integer with 1 is the integer itself. Let's take an example. When minus 3 multiply with 1, is equal to 1 multiply minus 3 the answer will come out to be minus 3 the property of 1 for the multiplication is also known as multiplicative identity any integer divided by 1 gives the same integer as quotient if x is an integer then x divided 1 is equal to x let's take an example when minus 7 is divided by 1 the answer is minus 7 property of minus 1 multiplication when integer is multiplied minus 1 the product is negative of the integer 
let's take an example when minus 3 is multiplied with minus 1 we will get 3 we can say that is negative of minus 3 now division x is an integer then x divided by minus 1 the answer is minus x example when 3 divided by minus 1 the answer is minus 3 now distributive property of multiplication multiplication distributes over addition if a b and c are three integers then a multiply bracket open b plus c bracket close that is equal to ab plus ac here first a will multiply with b then a will multiply with c example when minus 7 multiply bracket open 3 plus minus 4 bracket closed is equal to minus 7 multiply 3 plus minus 7 multiply minus 4. Now we will solve it. First, in according to the board mass rule, we will solve the bracket. Here, 3 minus 4 is minus 1. So, on left hand side, minus 7 multiply minus 1. And on right hand side, minus 7 multiply 3, we will get minus 21. And minus 7 multiply minus 4, we will get 28. So, after this, when minus 7 multiply with minus 1, we will get 7. And when minus 21, plus 28 we will solve it 28 minus 21 we will get 7 here LHS is equal to RHS so this is about the distributive property of multiplication thank you for watching the video and write down all the things in the video